Hey guys, welcome back. We are so glad to have you guys back today and we are so excited about the topic of conversation. Are you excited? I'm excited. Are you going to tell them or am I? I mean, I'm excited, but should we let like the build up or do we just tell them? All right, you tell them. Okay. Christmas songs. Christmas songs. So here's the deal and I've got a confession to make. I've been listening to Christmas songs since mid-November. By association, so have I. By choice? Would you still listen to them if you had the choice? No. I I didn't wait till after Thanksgiving, I can say that. But probably not as early as you did, though. So let's hit a question here. When is it appropriate to start listening to Christmas songs? Can you say uh, mid-November, Black Friday, First of December or Christmas Eve. And I there better not be any Christmas Eve people. Come on. It's Christmas music. There's so much uh -huh. good Christmas music out there. So uh, you know, I try not to judge anybody for their choice of when they start to listen to it, honestly. Um if it's Christmas Eve, I'm gonna judge people. Okay, we will judge a little on that. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying if you're singing about the birth of Jesus All year long. All year long. It's a big deal. I agree. It's the birth of our Savior. Sing about it. Yeah. We need to celebrate. I agree 100% on that. You know, so with Christmas songs, again, sort of like when we talked about Christmas movies a little while back, uh, there's so many good ones. And hopefully we, we had a discussion. So hopefully we do much better than we did with Christmas movies. And actually when we do our Mount Rushmore, our top four I, we okay. actually four. We, four? Did we agree on four? Guys, there or may was be. Was it more like ten? Guys, we we discussed four. I have a feeling the shell's going to give you about seventy-four. No. Okay, good. Well, we'll see. Maybe. So, we are going to, like we did with the Christmas movies, we are going to discuss what our top four favorite Christmas songs are? Can't do it. Okay. Not four. Can't do four. Okay, so what we're going to do, thanks to this one, we're going to do your top four traditional Christmas songs and your top four contemporary newer Christmas songs. Can you do that? <clears throat> okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do my best to follow the rules and with Shell, you guys get what you get. It's all I can give you. I'd like to tell you that she's going to follow the rules, but again, if you know Shell, she's not going to follow the rules. It's not going to happen. I'm a rule follower. It's just there's too many songs. All right, all right. So let's start with traditional Christmas songs. What is one of your top four traditional Christmas songs? Traditional? Traditional. There's so many, though. Okay. Um, You've had time to prepare. I have, and still, I'm going to go with Silent Night. Oh, yes. Because... It, I, That's it, what it's all about. It, yes. So I would go with <clears throat> A Little Town of Bethlehem. Okay. Also, yes, one that I like, mm -hmm. Oh Holy Night. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Little Drummer Boy. Oh, come Emmanuel. Mm. Uh, do you hear what I hear by anybody? But Wait. like, but Home Free does an amazing version of it. But anybody really that does that. Okay. Um, the entire soundtrack to the Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Can I do that? Well, you did cheat with the <laughs> the Santa Claus trilogy. So. It's all one. It's all. It's all one. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's a good. You know, and then, uh, man, this is so holy jolly Christmas. Oh. It's just happy. It is. It makes me want to smile. Okay. Of course, it is also part of the Rudolph soundtrack. That is true. So you're breaking your own rule. <laughs> I did. 
sorry. So what about contemporary? What's some of your newer favorite songs? Let's see. Newer, well, new-ish. All right, I'll give Let's you a new-ish. new -ish. Like Mary, Did You Know? Oh, Danny Gokey? Definitely. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, you know, uh, one of your favorite movies was um, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, mm -hmm. the Jim Carrey, and then Faith Hill did um, Where, Where Are, you, are Christmas? you Christmas. Yes. That one's a good one. Really good that's one. That's a good one. I didn't so even put that list. on my list, but that is a great one. Yeah. Sorry, I've got my, my list right here so that I can mm -hmm. remember and kind of stay on track. Somebody <laughs> got a list, but she doesn't stay on track anyway. I don't. Squirrel! Yeah. Uh, oh, you know, in... I could almost pull a shell on this one and say anything that Pentatonix does for Christmas, but I'm actually going to leave it at um, that's Christmas to me. That Good is, one. that's... They also do Mary Did You Know mm -hmm. very, very well. So that would be, that would be two of my uh, contemporary Christmas Mount Rushmore songs. What's that one, um, Noel? Oh, by Chris Tomlin? No, no. Um, gosh, Light just, of the World? That one. Mm hmm. That's Lauren Daigle. Yes. That's a good one. I went one. blank, but Hi, uh, amazing sorry. song. But I caught up with you. Thank we you. There. Mm -hmm. That's a really good one, too. Um, so uh, there's, there's one that we do with the kids at church, and it's become my favorite almost because of the actions that we do with the song as much as the song itself. And I love the song, but the actions um, are, are definitely a big part of it. And that's What a Glorious Night mm -hmm. by uh, Sidewalk Prophets. It's so, so cheesy, but... But I, I love we, the song and the actions are fun and the kids love the actions The too. song is amazing. Yes. Actions, cheesy. Cheesy actions for sure. But hey, we work with kids and that's just how it is. It's what we do. So, so um, is that three for me? I don't know. It was probably like 70 for me. I wasn't keeping I, track. I, um, okay, but as far as like albums or artists, um, I like the piano guys. Yes, they're great. And of course, Bublé. you can't have Christmas without Buble. It's just not possible. No, he's, he's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, another song that we do at, at uh, Church with the Kids that would be on, I think that I would be comfortable putting that in my top list would be It's About the Cross by Go Fish. That is a good one. That's a good one. So there's my top fours. The pressure's on you. Uh, already, I... You got top 44. Uh-huh. So, again, we turn the tables back to you guys. Those are, those are our... That's, once again, tongue twisters. I'm not doing so well with words. Those are our favorites. Those are, at least some of them. We probably <laughs> have several others as well. But you guys would be here for hours watching this, and you'd be like, my God, these guys aren't even that fun. <laughs> but we're having fun, and that's really all that matters. And Jasmine's not even having fun. Jasmine's she's, right over here sleeping. She's asleep. Yeah, she's not interested anymore. Cola went to the other room. He's we're not done. even entertaining He's done with us. Guys. So here's our challenge to you guys. It's your turn again. In the comments below, what is your favorite Christmas song? And if you're like Shell and you have to name off 61 different songs, that's okay. I don't think that this is like Twitter. I don't think you're, you're limited on characters. I think you can leave as, as many songs as you like. Um, but I want to know, what is your favorite contemporary song, newer, newer modern song? And what is your favorite uh, traditional song? And is there one that we didn't name that how in the world did we forget? Please let us know because uh, there are so many great songs and we want to hear all of them. Because once again, if I'm going to start listening to Christmas in mid-November, I've got plenty of time to listen to Christmas songs for sure. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Merry Christmas.